It was a pretty heavy collision um, between Eliza and myself and um, it's, I guess it's renowned for the way I play my football is saw the footy and um, knew I could get there before her and yeah I remember taking the footy and um, was hoping to just kind of receive the contact and um, and yeah be able to kind of keep moving through through the footy um, but unfortunately yeah we both collided in a nasty way and um, yeah I just remember being on the floor with my my mouth was pretty bloody because um, it hit my jaw um, and I yeah, remember the trainers being around me and um, yeah jogged off and uh, I guess the rest is history from that point. I decided not to take any further action um, because what kind of message I guess would that be sending to our grassroots football um, because concussion is serious, um, it is scary, um, and for me personally, you know, it's it's not to scare anyone, but to educate people. But um, you know, when I was 20, I was watching a an E Division Grand Final, and um, a young man like died in front of my eyes. The week prior, he'd um, he'd been concussed. He went to seven different doctors. He got an approval to play, he was the captain of his team and he received a normal bump at a centre bounce and he never got back up. Um, so it is a, quite a scary thing and um, I decided not to take any further action because um, yeah I guess I've won that story but yeah it's um, a, an important message that we send at grassroots footy as well. Concussion is, is a serious topic and um, as much as I am gutted, devastated, sad that I won't be taking the field with my teammates uh, in the grand final this weekend. Um, the last six months, the last ten games, it hasn't been about me. Uh, it hasn't been about one sole individual. Um, it's been about this group um, and just how special they are and the journey that we've all been on together. And um, I feel incredibly proud with how far this group has gone and um, you know they don't need me they have proven that to themselves on the weekend that they can get the job done without me um, and I'll be standing immensely proud on the sidelines alongside our fans and our supporters cheering on our girls uh, to get across the line in this um, grand final this weekend. I think you know we have exceptional leaders um, here at our footy club and in our women's team our, our girls have really stepped up and um, I, yeah I, you know they themselves have have done the work and um, it's just myself reinforcing that belief in them um, just how good they are and yeah I, I guess I feel like a proud parent you know it's it's like watching I guess not that I have kids but I can imagine um, what it would be like watching a young son or daughter drive away as they're an 18 year old and um, going off into the world and you've done everything you possibly can to help them and support them and I guess that's how I feel is like a proud parent and it's um, I get to to watch from the side of and be, be that proud parent of them. One thing I'm, I'm super proud of um, in our group is that when an opportunity arises, um, they embrace it and um, they don't take it for granted. So they've done that and they've shown that all season. Um, so I have no doubt that they'll do that just that. Um, you know, we play footy for one another and. Um, last week's game was very much about the players that couldn't play and you know that's not just me it was the ones that you know are either injured or not selected you know or a squad of 30 um, a murder of crows <laughs> and um, they're a damn good bunch and I'm yeah super proud of them like I said it's it's not about me this week it's a bloody exciting time for our football club we're going into our third ever AFLW grand final um, and I get the opportunity to um, to you know be a bit of a face for that and um, just showcase to our fans and um, supporters and be the messenger to just say you know get down um, bring the kids uh, it's going to be an absolute amazing game of football that you never want to miss and um, 
yeah, you're going to be a part of history if you rock up to this game, that's for sure. I've requested that um, I get a role somewhere down on the bench, that's for sure, so that every time a player comes, I, um, you know, get a high five and get to speak to the players and, um, yeah, I guess just be, be a, amongst it all and I'll, I'll find a role, no doubt. I'll just be a, an energetic bunny on the sidelines, I think. <laughs>